Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday, April 12th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poke Crew. It's beer time. How are you? How you doing? Feeling okay? You had a nice week? It's Friday. It's time for a beer, right? Am I right? Can I get a amen? Can I get a hallelujah? So I'm perusing the social medias as I am wont to do yesterday, and I came across a picture of somebody drinking it. An Amatis from Nickelbrook Brewing. I was about to type in, hey, buddy, how old is that goddamn can of beer? Because it's not, oh, my God, it's out. So I look at my LCBO app. It's at the LCBO close to my house. I don't even change. I go outside and mismatch socks, sandals, and my pajamas, and I run over the LCBO, and I buy four cans. Stick them in the fridge. In the fridge. <laughs> Wait all day. Get home. Time for a modest. One of my favorite Imperial IPAs comes out once a year. Very small batch. Excuse me. Up at 4 a.m. this morning. Um, 9%, 85 IBUs. This is a big, a boozy, a bastard. It is one of my, one of those beers I wait for every year now. It is small, small batch. There's not a lot of this out there. So if it comes to your local LCBO, you can ask for it. It can be shipped from LCBO to LCBO free of charge. So if you're really looking forward to this beer, you can get into it. Um, I have IPA glasses. Sure. I have Snifter. Sure. This is the very first Nickelbrook Brewing glass I bought, I'm going to say, four years ago. Let's go four years. I can't remember if it's four or five. Honestly, it's been a while. The Nonic Pint. Why use the Nonic Pint glass poke? Why not use the, the nice Spiegeloo? Oh, let's see. Because now I'm going to do this little talk with you guys, and then I'm going to have to put more beer in to take a pretty picture with it, so I guess I'm just going to have to open two. Shucks darn it on me. But honestly, guys, any clean glass is the right glass for you. Grapefruit orange. Grapefruit orange. I can smell it right when I open it. I love the smell of this beer. It's, just, it's, it's such a beautiful goddamn beer. Like, it's a big, slow-sipping beer. Mmm. Tropical! Mm. All right, let's get into it. Cheers, my friends. Welcome back, Amonis, to join the, the heavy hidden fridge. I have four different Imperial IPAs in my fridge right now. Oh, baby. Cheers. So, these beers are kind of a throwback to an era. Not a long, long, long time ago. You know, five, six, seven, eight years ago. Um, for me, it was four years ago. When I first tried them, they, they, they packed this boozy punch. That, you know, there's a bready toasted malt body in there. Lots of, you know, pithy grapefruit, orange, uh, some pineapple. Definitely like, the you know, the, the, the toasties there. And then that resinous pine back end. This, this uh, honestly, and I, I mean, I, it's, it's really hard for me to remember beers. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really try. Very few... I can remember year to year. I hope that, you know, I can. This actually, I, I, I can remember last year's you know, pretty good, um, which was a good, good batch. It was a good player. Good batch. Um, this is better, I think. I don't know. There appears to be more balance between the, like, the tropical, juicy citrus, that pithiness, um, the body really coming in. There's a touch of sweetness in there. And then there's that bitter, dry, resinous, piney back. And a little bit of heat from the heat. A little bit of heat. A little bit of heat. Um, but, you know, it's it's God, good beer, man. I guess we're, I, I don't even know. And I wait all year. And it's like every, you know, March-ish, fe between February, end of February and like early April, there's three or four beers that hit. And I'm always like... I'm so excited. But you can't hang on to them. It's not like you can age these. You don't age these beers. I mean, th this will stand up better than that juicy New, New England IPA, right? Because these beers are just better. But drinking them relatively fresh. Uh, canning. So this was canned about, let's say, that about a week ago. This, this is pretty much perfect. And also, you don't want to drink them ice, ice cold. Um, I want to thank uh, like uh, the beer sisters, Crystal Luxmore, Tara Luxmore. They brought the, they had like a chart of um, like you know the proper how long you should take it out for, and for and fifteen minutes for these, you know, because you don't want them ice cold because it's it's going to kill the taste receptors. If you're pulling it right out of the fridge, I'm usually like five, maybe ten minutes. I let it warm up a little bit. Just want it to come out of that icy, icy cold. I try not to keep my fridge too too cold because it does. You don't want ice cold beer. This is fabulous though. 
Like, it goes down. I mean, you know you're drinking 9%, but you still don't care. You're just like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to keep drinking because it's so damn good. Now I only bought four. It, it is. It's four ninety five dollars a can. Most Imperial IPAs, they come in at that $5 price range, and I'm okay with that. It's a treat. It's not something you're going to buy cases of because, A, again, you don't drink that much, and B, you know, you want to drink them fresh. So it is a treat. It is, it is a time of year where you celebrate. It's like Christmas for hopheads, I guess, down here in southern Ontario. So... Pick some up if it comes to your local LCBO. Like I said, you can ask for them to bring it to that LCBO. You can, you know, talk to your LCBO and say, hey, I want this. You can order it online, have it delivered to your LCBO from another LCBO. They do that for free. Did you know that? No. Or you can come to Burlington. I work just down the street. You can come visit me. Yeah, totally. Come on. Come on down. Have a burger. It's all right. We'll go get a beer after. It's all good. I'm modest. Back again. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this. And I just have to pour another one. Ah, such a tough life. Cheers, my friends. Happy Friday to you. Happy and modest Friday. Look drunk, Pokeru. I'll tell you something. I drink three of these. I'll, I'll be running down the street in me knickers, because ain't nothing modest about that then, is there? <laughs>